So, hello Contrast and welcome to the cup. Today I want to show you the essential tools for every cyclist. Yeah, especially if you go bikepacking or something. And I try to sort them from importance. So, you should always carry a lighter. Second, I have here a pump. We got the standard car valves and have an adapter for the Dunlop valves. Next up, a tire patching kit with some spare valves and of course rubber cement and patches. I have a screwdriver which will help you to remove the tire if necessary. And I have a wrench here. That's a neat old one. Closes automatically and fits every size. But if you want to make <laughs> life easier, you can use those here instead of the screwdriver to remove the tire. I will show you this how this is done. Alternative, this is what I am carrying. This is a well, multi card kind of tool. It's very old. And uh, come in two variants. This here, it's called well bone obviously <laughs> and this one here stamped out of metal it got all the sizes you will find on a bike cycle plus a screwdriver and you can use it as a bottle opener <laughs> yeah you can also carry a replacement hose but if you have the patches you don't need to it's just if you want to make life easier and a rack to clean your tools and hands and obviously your EDC knife and as a bit of extra they usually fit in a toolkit like this I mean yeah, it's not a screwdriver but most of them and I have filled this up with some stuff in a previous video I will link it in the description but in here I have a spare light bulb uh, that's the last red item you should carry if you have a dynamo on your bike. If not, if you have a modern one, you should carry batteries. <laughs> yeah, that's the essential tools every cyclist should have. Those here, yeah, they are just making life easy. You can do it with screwdriver. This it works. I have done it dozens of times. And now let me show you how to remove the tire with a screwdriver. You just have to be careful not to pierce your hose so otherwise you have a second hole <laughs> yeah you just lever it up and try to get it off one side and then you walk your way along the rim here just like this and yeah it, depending on the type of hose it is a hard work or it gets very easy this one is a very hard one brand new yeah, once you have it as far as this, you just have to try to push it down. You can do that by leaning on it while pulling it down, just like this. And eventually it will come off. So, there we go. <laughs> Patches? Oh, I have used them so often. And they are from the dollar store box for this little box comes with a lot of patches and a rubber hose for your old-fashioned valves works great highly recommended I recommend you to buy the good quality ones they are not much cheap and much more expensive but they're just better <laughs> yeah and now let me show you this adapter close-up I have made a little out of it Area. And so, yeah, there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. So, hope you enjoyed it. And there will be a little bonus video after this section, but by now I want to ask you please subscribe. I want to reach 1000 subscribers. So, we got this nut here. And we take this tool and close it automatically. allows you to 
unscrew it. This is a perfect tool if you have to deal with different standards. And here. <laughs> this is something they should really start making again. Probably 70, uh, 80 years old. Yeah, that's the. They used to be very common. They just. Slot over the screw and allow it to. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Good thing is they allow you to grip on it a bit better than those uh, this ones here. Just because they are a bit sharp on the edges, so you have to be a bit careful with this. But the advantages this gives you a bit more different sizes 